It's actually a pretty simple process if you've got uh, one of these cheap little generic um, gimbals that are pretty nice to have on a GoPro. But uh, to check the pitch and roll, um, get yourself a servo driver, very inexpensive. I think I paid 20 bucks at the local shop. And uh, uh, keep notice of the polarity there. And what I found, I don't know if this is true or not, but what I found on these controllers, you're gonna have these wires or these pins. Some of them come pre-soldered, some don't. Some have uh, two rows, some have four rows. But I don't know if this is right or wrong, but I found that the pitch is always on the left and roll is right next to it which is row one, two, three, four. So if you have four, I don't know what the other two are for. And ground is always down, so black down. And if you want to try this out, you need to make sure that you've got uh, your gimbal powered up. And very simple, just turn the knob and you'll start seeing. That's it. And it allows you to adjust once you get into your uh, program, let me uh, disconnect here on the side. The left side is tilt, and let's see if the right side is pitch. There you go. Pretty nice. I'm gonna hide the wires. So this requires uh, this requires a BGC V 2.2. You can get a base cam electronics uh, forward slash downloads forward slash 8 bit forward slash. This is an 8 bit unit. But uh, uh, easy, easy to do. Settings for the uh, simple BGC for the GoPro gimbal, but check it out. Zero, 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 zero. Zero, zero, point two, then it goes back to zero. Can't get any closer than that. I'm not worried about here. That's what you want, zero, 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 zero. Perfect on every uh, axis. And there's my PIDs, if anybody wants to copy those. But everything's working perfect now. Good little gimbal. Good little gimbal, and you can see the real time. That's about the best I can get. If you want to have maximum uh, pitch, 90 degrees straight down, like that, when you hook up to your receiver, You want to go into your radio RC settings tab and down here, minimum and maximum angle. These figures are what needs to be changed. On the negative side, minimum, positive side, and just play around with them. This is the speed of the motor. So you just play around with these. I. Uh, I don't care about the roll this way. I don't care about that. So I've got no input on the, on the roll. So pitch is all I need. And so you don't have to mess with these top buttons. Play with these from about negative 100 to about 50. Play Still got good response. Yeah, so whenever you have any any uh, heat buildup on the motors, uh, that's where you go to the power section. And uh, make sure you've got mac optimum uh, figures on your PIDs and motor power. Go to real time. For the most part, you should get a pretty straight line. 
on these uh, three axes. Just touching, just touching the motors here will trigger. See that? I'm tapping the roll. You can see that. So here's here's my final PID settings on this GoPro 2 access. Seem to work pretty well. And here's my RC settings on my tilts. I ended up settling at 130, 70, speed motor. Here's my final settings. Good response. Good, good response. No humming, no vibration on the motors. And uh, no heat.